you are with him. Yeah. yeah. Right, I'm in Garstang um, on day four of Can't Get Online Week, and I'm with Douglas Chalmers, who's the director of CLA North. Um, and Douglas, um, CLA is very kindly supported um, Can't Get Online Week, so why do you think it's important for the CLA to get involved in promoting rural broadband? Because, uh, because our membership represents uh, quite a wide range, a huge breadth and depth of what goes on in rural communities. So we have everybody from the large landowners, the working farmers, the smaller landowners, uh, a large proportion of, of rural businesses. And there is an increasing dependence on the need to use the internet uh, for communications. And it's everyone from we as an organisation, because there's economies for us and we can uh, contact people more efficiently, more quickly, uh, right through to government organisations, uh, tax returns, uh, the ability to communicate. Um, we had uh, a very classic example of where the lack of broadband was vitally important to uh, our members was not the big foot and mouth outbreak of ten years ago, but uh, four years ago. Uh, where 10 years ago, uh, MAF as it went, was then would send everything up by post. Farmers across the country would get a letter almost every day saying, this is what's going on. The last outbreak, everything was web-based and the front page of the, um, of, of, of the website was a map. And so farmers without effective broadband could just not, they just gave up. They just could not get that information. And we're finding more and more that our members will complain uh, because they're feeling more excluded, uh, they have uh, cost disadvantages because they can't use electronic ways of, of moving information, financial information, product information, marketing, invoicing, um, that goes on. Uh, their families are feeling more and more excluded and that's everything from the opportunities that their, their children have, whether it's for homework or Again, as, as the father of three young children, it always baffles me. They can spend time with their friends and then come home and immediately go on to Facebook mm. to talk to the people they've just been talking face to face with. But mm. that's what they do. And I'm also very conscious that when you're that age, you have to be in with what your friends are doing. Mm -hmm. uh, but more seriously, we know that um, we have examples of where uh, children are penalised because they can't access homework sites. Uh, we have had examples we've come across where children in rural schools have to give up their lunch times because they use the school computers to do their work. And that's not when you're a, a young child. That's that's just not fair. Uh, and interestingly, but going back to the business side, the the parents of those children had set up a website. They were exporting uh, horses, and they had a, a large market in Australia and New Zealand, and they couldn't even access their own website. They had to go to the local school to see if they were getting any business. Um, so there are, if you were writing a, a comedy film about how not to let businesses run and how not to let individuals run their lives, you would have a, a chapter on, or an episode on broadband. Okay, that's great. Thank you very much. That's all you wanted? Yeah.